Blue is for health hazards, because fuck you. And then white is just extra space for other stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at another one of Sam O'Nella's <laughs> videos on fire diamonds. Now, in a nuclear power plant, we actually use these fire diamonds quite a lot for various hazardous or non-hazardous material that we store, chemicals, uh, solvents, um, basically any big industrial stuff. Though at nuclear plants, you don't use them as often as you would at, say, a petrochemical plant. But we still use these things quite a bit. Here's what it looks like for real, in case you're curious. Um, just a simple 0 to 4 scale of how dangerous something is with health, fire, instability, and specific hazards. Just high-level safety message. Let's take a look. Hey kids, today I'll be teaching you how to read these things. The symbol is technically known as NFPA704, but nobody really- That's great, he got the terminology right. ...calls it that. Most people refer to it as a fire diamond, or a safety square. Or if you're British, a figmenty pigmenty cross a toss -a, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> anyway, when you see the symbol, usually oh, on a door wonderful. or a container or something, it means there's a hazardous material present. And the numbers and symbols on the diamond give information on exactly how dangerous that material is. So first off, notice the four colors, right? Each one represents a different type of hazard. Red is for flammability, because fire and burning things are usually red. Makes Yellow is for sense. chemical reactivity, I guess because chemical reactions and involves swapping electrons and electricity is yellow. <laughs> so uh, reactivity, this is different from reactivity associated with nuclear reactors, um, strictly chemical stuff. Or blue is for health hazards because fuck you. And then white is just extra space for other stuff. <laughs> so the three colored diamonds, or if you want to be politically correct, the African American diamonds, oh, no. each have a number from zero to four. And each of these is like a threat level for that category. <laughs> that scale of your good damn son is actually fairly accurate for the most part because it's supposed to be a quick arbitrary um, telling of how dangerous something is. The only exception would be the fire portion. That has to do with flashpoint. It actually has numbers on there. Like a four means it has a flashpoint of less than 73 degrees. So anything could make it catch fire. If the number is zero, it basically means you'd have to be some kind of professional to manage to fuck things up in that fact. <laughs> some kind of professional. That That is awesome. Yes. Um, the most experienced folks tend to make mistakes because of complacency and overconfidence. There's like a sliding thing. It's the amateur and the most professional are probably the people you got to watch out for. Sand, for example, has a zero in its flammability. The only time sand burns is when it's wedged in the cracks of your speedo for too long. However, please note that the health section does not apply to ingestion. For example, motor oil has a blue rating of zero, but that in no way makes it safe to drink. If the number is one, that means there's a threat present, but you'd still have to be like an advanced level dumbass in order to really find it. Cellulose, advanced the primary level. chemical found in paper, has a flammability of one. So don't, you know, hold it over a fire for a while, and you'll be fine. Two is where things start being kind of a big deal. Capsaicin, the chemical that makes pepper spicy, has a health risk of two. I love these examples, very, um, like sand, paper, examples that show up to just about everyone. That's a good way to do a safety brief. You finish chopping your jalapenos, and then you go touching your jalapenos. It's not going to kill you oh, or nothing, no. but it's going to mess your day up no. for sure. If you see a three, <laughs> that's when you know you got to watch out. Uh, gasoline, it's got a flammability of three, and we all know gasoline. You see gasoline walking by, you better take the cigarette out of your mouth, get the static <laughs> off your clothes, fix your hair, make yourself presentable, don't oh, make eye contact. Great. That's the only way to keep yourself safe. <laughs> and then four smile. is the highest number on the scale. If you see a four, the best thing to do is just start walking back. Because if you're close enough to read that for, chances are you're not where you need to be. <laughs> Some nasty green stuff. Uh, by the way, that's not what nuclear waste looks like. I, I don't know what that green stuff actually is, but... Ugh. Nitroglycerin has a reactivity of four. If you soak a tissue in nitroglycerin and give it to your friend to sneeze in, that sneeze will result in his entire goddamn face getting blown off. Fours so yeah, fours are nothing to sneeze at. 
literally. Now let's move on to the bottom ah. bit. Unlike me, this diamond isn't just a big white waste of space. This is the spot for any extra warnings you wow. need to know about. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, like radiation, or biohazard, or gaze. So wow, that did not age well at all. I'll just go through a few that aren't as easy to interpret. Take a look at this one. Unless you hear faint mooing while it you're ox. reading it, chances <laughs> are it doesn't mean what you think. OX is short for oxidizer, which is basically something that produces oxygen when exposed to heat. This doesn't sound so bad until you realize that heat plus oxygen rarely ends well for most fuels in the vicinity. If you see this one, Makes it means white people aren't allowed to touch the material. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> just kidding. White people are allowed to do whatever they want. It actually means don't mix with water or else it could explode or multiply or something. S means simple asphyxiant, referring to gases like helium. It basically means that while this gas isn't poisonous, it's also, you know, not air. So if you breathe it for too long, you will still die. It's true. All right, kids. So now that you Asbest know all the atmosphere. ins and outs of these things, let me give you a little quiz. On the left, we got a bunch of things. Oh, and boy. on the right, we have a bunch of fire diamonds. Pause the video now and see if you can match them up correctly. All right, let's see if we can do this. So sodium metal, will that has a volatile reaction with water, so that's going to be the second one on the right with the W on it. Um, shrinking alcohol, flammable and health risk, but not that high, so that's going to be on the bottom right. Nitrogen gas is an asphyxiant, but no real other hazards there, so that's going to be straight across. And hydrogen cyanide, Volatile and deadly, so that's going to be the one on top. And my mixtape is the fictitious 050. Wonder what 5 would be. Um, flashpoint at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. <laughs> Must have a hot mixtape. All done. Here are the answers. And it looks like we got them. Awesome. Good to know that training amounted to something. Now you know all about NFPA 704. <laughs> Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. All right, now I gotta um, convince my safety manager that this should be included for our NFPA 704 refresher training that we have every year. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we'll go for that or not. I love this. Any way to make safety fun and entertaining while at the same time really talking about the hazards is a win in my book. This was excellent. And I really think this should be included in uh, safety briefings at work. Let me know what you think about that. Would you include this in uh, your safety training? Have, have Sam Onella discuss it? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.